हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल डिस्कस द एक्सक्रिटरी सिस्टम ह्यूमन बॉडी इज कॉन्स्टेंटली एट वर्क इट नेवर कम्प्लीटली एट रेस्ट फॉर एग्जांपल इवन व्हेन वी आर स्लीपिंग आवर लंग्स आर बिजी इन इनहेलिंग ऑक्सीजन एंड एक्सहेलिंग सी ओ टू सी ओ टू इज द वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट जनरेटेड बाई आवर बॉडी लाइक सी ओ टू वेरियस अदर वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट सच एज अमोनिया यूरिया यूरिक एसिड वाटर एंड एक्सेस आयन्स लाइक हास्फेट सल्फेट सोडियम आयन पोटेशियम आयन एंड क्लोराइड आयन आर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय आवर बॉडी बाय डिफरेंट मेटाबॉलिक एक्टिविटीज और अदर मीन्स लाइक एक्सेस इंजेशंस डाइजेशन एंड रेस्पिरेशन दिस सब्सटेंसेस हैव टू रिमूव्ड टोटली और पार्शियली द प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑफ इलिमिनेशन ऑफ वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स of uh, our body is called excretion among different waste products ammonia urea and uric acids are the major forms of nitrogenous waste excreted by the animals ammonia is the most toxic form of requires large amount of water for its elimination when uh, whereas uric acids being the least toxic can be removed with a minimum loss of water ammonia is plus loss lot of water and excretion it requires the process of exc- excretion ammonia is ammonotelism ammonotelism many bony fishes aquatic amphibians and aquatic insects are amniotic in nature <clears throat> ammonia as it is really soluble is generally excite, excreted by diffusion across body surface or through gill surfaces in fish as ammonium ions kidney do not play any significant role in removal of ammonia and this ammonia converted into the urea and uric acid the terrestrial adaptations necessitated the production of lesser toxic nitrogenous wastes like urea and uric acid for conservation of water mammals many terrestrial amphibians and marine fishes mainly excrete urea and are called ureotelic animals ammonia produced by metabolism is converted into urea in the liver of these animals and released into the blood which is filtered and excreted by our kidneys some amount of urea may be retained in the kidney matrix of some of these animals to maintain a desired osmolarity reptiles birds land animals uh, land land snails and insects excrete nitrogenous waste as uric acid in the form of pellet or paste with a minimum loss of water and are called urio uricotelic animals these are the excreted as pellets and paste these are the uricotelic animals and survey of animal kingdom presents a variety of excretory structures in most of the invertebrates these structures are simple tubular forms whereas vertebrates have a complex tubular organs called kidneys some of these structures are mentioned here protonephridia or phlegm cells are the excretory structures in the platyhelminths that is flat worms example planaria rot rotifers some annelids and cephalocordate amphioxus so protonephridia are primarily concerned with the ionic and fluid volume regulation that is osmoregulation this is phlegm volume phlegm cells nephridia are the tubular excretory structures of earthworm and other annelids nephridia help to remove nitrogenous waste and maintain a fluid 
and ionic valence. Malfigian tubules are the exterior structures of most of the insects, including cockroaches. Malfigian tubules helps in the removal of nitrogenous waste and osmoregulations. Antenal glands or green glands perform the excretory function in cartesians like prawns. So those are called antenal or glands or green glands in uh, cartesians like prawns. This cockroaches has malfigian tubules and antenal glands or green glands uh, those are present in uh, crayfish or crab. Okay. Now discuss the other uh, organs like uh, uh, the kidney perform the main function of excre excretions in the humans and other than kidneys, lungs, liver, skin also help in the elimination of excretory waste. The sebaceous glands eliminate certain substances like sterols, hydrocarbons and waxes through sebum. This secretion provides a protective wily covering for the skin. And the sweat, the sweat and the sebaceous glands in the skin can eliminate certain substances through the through their secretion. Sweat product produced by the sweat glands is a watery fluid containing in sodium chloride and a small amount of urea lactic acids. Uh, now the primary function of sweat is to facilitate a cooling effect on the body surface it help all uh, it also helps in the removal of some of the waste like urea liver liver is also liver the largest gland in our body secretes the bile containing substances like bilirubin vilverdin cholesterol degraded steroid hormones vitamins and drugs most of these substances ultimately pass out along with digestive waste and our lungs remove large amount of carbon dioxide approximately 200 ml per minute and also significant quantities of water every day so these are the uh, skin liver lungs are all along with this saliva also secretes uh, nitrogenous waste so it also help in uh, this excretion now we'll discuss the human excretory systems in more details in humans the excretory system consists of a pair of kidney one pair of ure ureters a urinary bladder and a urethra these are the different parts of urinary systems or urinary excretory systems so two pair of kidneys kidneys are reddish brown bean shaped structures situated between the levels of last thoracic and third lumbar vertebra close to the dorsal inner wall of the abdominal cavity each kidney of an adult human measures uh, 10 to 12 centimeter in length, 5 to 7 centimeter in width, and 2 to 3 centimeter in thickness, with an average weight of 120 to 120 grams. So it is between the last thoracic vertebra, that is T12 and uh, L3 that is third lumbar vertebra in between there is the uh, this uh, uh, kidneys are situated this is being separate this is liver and there is the situation of the kidney and this is the spleen so kidney 
has different functions it is reddish brown in color we have seen that 10 to 12 centimeter in length 5 to 7 centimeter in breadth and 2 to 3 centimeter in thickness this is the dimension of uh, a kidney it has a 120 to 170 gram now towards the center of the inner concave surface of the kidney is a notch called helium through which ureter blood vessels and nerves enter In, inner to the helium is a broad funnel shaped space called the penal pelvis with projections called calices the outer layer of kidney is a tough capsule inside the kidney there are two zones an outer cortex and an inner medulla the medulla is divided into a few conical masses medullary pyramids projecting into the calices in singular it is called calyx the cortex extends in between the medullary pyramids as renal columns called columns of Bertini. Each kidney has nearly 1 million complex tubular structures called nephrons, which are the functional units. Each nephron has two parts, the glomerulus and the renal tubule. Glomerulus is a tuft of capillaries formed by the afferent arterioles, a fine branch of renal artery. Blood from the glomerulus is carried away by an efferent arteriole. The renal tubule begins with a double walled cup like a, stu a structure called Bowman's capsule. This is the Bowman's capsule which encloses the glomerulus. Glomerulus along with Bowman's capsule is called the Malfigian body or renal capsule. The tubule continues further to form a highly coiled network that is proximal convoluted tubule that is PCT, uh, heparin shaped Hanel's loop is the next part of the tubule which has a descending and an ascending limb. The ascending limb continues as another highly coiled tubular region called distal convoluted tubules or DCT. The DCT of many nephron opens into a, a straight tube called collecting duct, many of which converge and open into the renal pelvis through medulla, medullary pyramids in the calices. The Malpighian capsule, PCT and DCT of the nephron are situated in the cortical region of the kidneys, whereas the loop of henels dip into the medulla. In majority of the nephrons, the loop of the henel is too short and extends only very little into the medulla. Such nephrons are called cortical nephrons. In some of the nephrons, the loop of henel is very long and runs deep into the medulla. These nephrons are called juxtamedullary nephrons. The efferent arteriole emerging from the glomerulus forms a fine capillary network around the renal tubule called the peritubular capillaries. A minute vessel of this network runs parallel to the handless loop forming a U-shaped vasa recta. Vasa recta is absent or highly reduced in the cortical nephrons. So this is the uh, a structure of Malpighian body renal capsule and uh, this a structure of represent the nephron showing the blood vessels, ducts and tubules.
after this lecture we will discuss the formation of urine this is the vasa recta vasa recta is absent or highly reduced in the cortical nephrons so a minute vessel of this network runs parallel to the henle loop forming a u shaped vasa recta this is the renal vein and this is structures you can see and there is the peritubular capsules okay thank you have a good